Have you ever wondered what players talk about with their caddies? Well, today you're going to get an inside look at my experience playing whistling straights and the back and forth decision making between myself and my caddy. Subscribe to follow along and we're off to the first tee. Yep, the tippies and all the tee boxes kind of signify where the tour pros play from. Awesome. And he said the Ryder Cup played one up, but there's a salt grandstands here. Right, yeah, the heat, Bryson drove the green. Yeah, the green here. yeah, yeah, cool. So, first of all, you see the bunker out there straight away? Yes, sir. The left tip of that is 275. Okay. If you go with that lone mound on the left of the, you know, the left yep. edge of the that lone mound, you can carry those bunkers. Okay. For basically watching out there. So. Right. We got Trace on the bag here. Best caddy out here. Out here early morning. So we're playing the plates, which is about 70, what did you say, 7,300? 7, 7,400. Yeah. I'm definitely a little nervous hitting this first tee shot. I pull this thing a little bit left. Trouble getting the lower body work in early in the morning. Top of that hill is 100. Okay. You know, little, little window back here. Yeah, probably a little 56. All right, so I'll, I'll favor the right side. Yeah, I'd say maybe like that mound just right of it. Okay. Green. That's gotta go. Oh, thank you. Wasn't sure if that had enough on it. Pretty happy just to have some sort of a look at birdie on the first. Oh. All right, not a bad start. Part five. Okay. See the smokestacks out there? Yep. Kind of the left smokestack. Okay. I like that area right there. All right. Left. Second hole is not an easy one whatsoever. Again, lower body locks up on me a little bit, and I'm going to pull this thing well to the left. Easy. I want to go up there so I can watch. I always take a verify, but I'm pretty sure our line is going to be like, you see that um, stick there? Uh-huh. I think we're going to go right over the just left of that. So I'm going to go verify that. Okay, thank you. Completely a blind shot, but Trace gave me a nice line. I believe I have a pitching wedge here, just trying to reposition myself. Maybe a little left of it. You know, you can see short's not our friend. Uh -huh. If you're gonna miss, you'd rather be just a little long than short. Okay, so just right of it? I would say just right of it. Okay. Thank goodness I have Trace out there because I had absolutely no clue where I'm hitting this ball. Another wedge into this green aims a little bit right on me, but luckily the slope will help bring this ball back. We'll take it right over that spot right there. Okay. Let it, let it, it fall in. Oh, that was a good putt, though. <laughs> Thanks. Hole three is the first one we get alongside Lake Michigan. Absolutely beautiful. 181 yard par three. I have eight iron, avoiding the lake at all costs. I'll flare this thing a little bit out to the right, but it'll catch a piece of the green. Okay. It wants to like hold it off a little bit, it right? It wants to hold it off. He wants to go a little bit right to start, uh -huh. but it's overall. Okay. It's coming off this, I mean, there's a lot of slope on this yeah. one here. A very long putt here, just trying to trust my line and get the speed right, breaking right to left. Trace gave me an absolutely great line, and I'm gonna nuzzle it up there. It's actually interesting, kind of like right in this area for the Ryder Cup, I, on the Wednesday practice round, I saw it. Kepka was like right around, the, the holes here, Kepka's are, uh -huh. they put it like five or six straight times and missed it left every time. Cause really? the lake has got so much pull here. Yeah, you can't, I mean, I wouldn't have saw it come left as much had you so, said anything. I think it was his manager he had a level in his back pocket. He put the level on the ground and they were looking at the level and they were kind of shaking their head, <laughs> but they weren't taking into account how much that lake really pulls it. Yeah, wow, yeah. There's three bushes, one, two, three. Yep. We want to finish at that third bush. Finish at the third. Yep. So I might start at the third and hope it goes straight. Take that. <laughs> I pulled my last two drives, so I'm trying to trust my fade. This thing starts down the left side, and it finally starts to fade back towards the fairway. Six iron into this long par four, and this ball starts oh. right, but goes left, and it's it. not stopping. It. Luckily, though, it holds up in the high grass, not in the lake. Here's another illustration on how not to chip. Oh, sit. So I could probably... Do you think I want to carry this little thing here or? Yeah, I mean, get, remember, you're, you're on a little downhill, yeah. so it is going to run out a little bit here yeah. for us. I think I'd kind of, yeah, I'd I kind of land it kind of before, like right where the hill starts going, okay. just up before it goes down. Uh -huh. Yeah, just grab it. Not leaving myself a good opportunity here. This is for my bogey. I like how Trace just gives me lines and I hit it right at it, but it's not gonna end up going in. That'll be a double. Kind of get off a little bit. It's, uh, it, you grabs, it grabs you. Doubles will 
pop up right yeah. there. There's, there's water on the right, uh -huh. but you can't see from here. It's kind of hidden. And then left of the fairway, there's hazard as well, but that's pretty far left. You okay. got a lot of room. Okay. It's a big fairway. Okay. Yeah. It's Interesting dog leg right, par five, 603 yards, absolute monster. I'm lucky to be able to hit a good one off the tee. You can go as far as you want. If you go right though, then that bush is gonna come in. I would just hit something like 190, 200 here. Okay. Oh no. Stop. Ah. 120 is actual the flag, 102 covers. Okay. Had a drop because we hit it in the water, so we're hitting four. Mm. Yeah, just took the old conservative route there. A really long look for my par. We have this thing starting out to the left and creeping back towards the hole. Speed is key, but I don't give it enough. Probably go like left edge if it was aggressive. Yeah, I was thinking like half in, half out. Yeah, All right. Where is the green? The green is between these bushes, the tallest peak. Um, at that mountain. At that mountain. Okay. Yeah. Let's start it at the right edge of the uh, right edge of the left mounds. And yeah, a little cut like that. Uh -huh. yeah. Not a long par four, 355. Trying to put driver down there in a good position to hopefully try to make a bird. You want you want to be underneath this one. You don't really want to go past it. So if I can, just like just a little short left. Yeah. And then it'll fu it'll funnel. Get ready to take some notes here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. A pretty interesting spot I left myself in. On some high grass here, it's going to be tough to get some spin. Overall though, a pretty solid shot from there. Mm. Hit it too hard. Oof, 220 flag. Again, it's one where I'd rather stay underneath it than go too much past it on this one. Okay, so I think like some 215, 220. Yeah, I think the number's good. Trusting the number here, hitting a five iron, the lake is to the right and it looks pretty appetizing to be honest, but luckily we're staying left of it and actually hit a good shot. All right. To have any look at birdie on this tough par three is great. Left to right sweeper, just trying to get the speed right and I hit a really nice one up there by the hole. Also, I'm gonna wish I hadn't said this. I don't wanna jinx it, but it's the one thing that I was struggling with the past few times was my lag putts, but been okay so far today. An absolute beast of a par four, 507 yards, kind of goes left, then comes back to the right, lake to the right, so you can't miss it over there. This ball stays left and doesn't come back one bit. I'll give you a line, but we've got, um, still have two, 216. Okay. In. All right. But 140 puts us at a nice spot. Uh-huh, what's like up there, up there? A lot of trouble? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of bunkers. Uh huh. I give you a line, and just you tell me what you're comfortable hitting off that. I mean, you don't. I mean, that's not the greatest. Right. You tell me the number you're comfortable hitting, and I'll go up there and give you a line for it. Let me just see if I can even get anything on it. I'll lay up. It's like that 140 number. I like 140. I'll yeah. go up there and give you a line for that number. Okay. That's some great back and forth from Trace and I trying to come up with a good decision here. End up laying up. Nice yeah. one into the fairway. 84. Okay. Mm. Another long putt here. On the last hole, I said my lag putting's been good, but unfortunately, I'm gonna jinx myself here. Leave this thing way short. Oh, I think the rain just slowed that one up. <laughs> Hole nine was playing very long today. 446 yard par four straight into the wind. It requires a really good drive. Trying to trust the fade here, start down the left side and it's able to come back. So like 205 shot, 210? Yeah, I like, I like 210, yeah. Okay. So it's right in the front. 210's about a six iron for me, but I don't really factor in how much wind there is in our face. This kind of balloons yeah. up in the air and it's gonna end up short in a really tough spot. In the hole, for sure. Right, right, inside right. Okay. Oh, just pushed it. All right. Head to the back nine. Was back or front harder, you think? 
I always say the, the first five holes in the back nine are the most scorable stretch. Okay. A second pot bunker. Just left of it, okay. Yeah, you guys pump the driver right up there. The one that's up there? The just, second one, there's two uh, in the fairway? Yep. Yeah, just, just lock to the second one there. Okay. Whistling is definitely a very difficult course if you've never played it before. This is my first time, so we're looking to put that 43 behind us and score well in the back. Only about 75 yards left into this par 4. I take up a bit of an aggressive line here just left of the flag, but it's able to get up there. How much? Is that pace? Or yeah. Is that pace up the hill here? I pushed it. Oh, that was just a bad stroke. Yeah. So we're going left. Yeah, we're gonna go. Um, you see the three bushes. Yeah. Go three bunkers over. There's a perfect circular bunker. Yep. Right at that circular bunker. Okay. Really cool par five with a bunch of cool bunkers going down the right. And luckily, I'm gonna hit it over there. Gonna be able to explore ah. some of the natural features yeah, that Whistling Straits has to offer. It's 210 to cover that bunker. I'd probably go. 230 to 40. Yeah, I'll hit four. It should be enough to cover the bunker. And enough to cover the bunker. That's yeah, the key. Yeah. I'm in some thick stuff over here, but luckily my ball is sitting up. I have a four iron just trying to get it up there by the green. It's not going to get quite all the way up there, but it's going to leave me in a good spot. There's a little bit, it's still a little left off this hill. Yep. But then it kind of straightens out and almost. Yeah, I see that. Come back the other way. I don't. I mean, I think we'll just take it like a ball, a ball right. Yeah. Definitely have to be cautious of speed here coming down the hill and a pretty makeable putt. I gotta push it a little bit. One twenty-seven. A oh, short one. Okay. A little hurt. Pushing right, but it's still a little hurt here. Twenty-seven. So you think thirty-five will get there? Or is that not enough? I don't, I don't mind 40. I'm going to shoot the back edge. Yeah, 140 is back edge. Front edge is about one, 122. It's always important to know the front and back edge numbers to know how much space oh, you have in between. It. We try to stick with the 140 yeah. number because a little bit of hurt wind. It hit a decent one up there. Oh, all right, it's up, but it's not fun. By decent, I mean we're not in the lake. I have a really tough side hill chip here. Chipping's been a little bit yippy so far today, but this <laughs> one is really nice. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Great par there. Thank Step you. Down. Thank you. You see that hole sign up there in the distance over that bush? Yep. That bush, but we can go left of it. That, that pot bunker you see left yep. of it up the hill, that's 295 to get through. Okay. And the wind's kind of hurting. Yeah. I think we take it right at that bunker. Yep. Not too long of a par four, 404 yards. I hit this thing way off the bottom of the face, but right. I'm gonna get away with it. It's 138, 133 with a slope. Okay. I think this wind is, I think this wind's hurting a little bit here. Okay. Crazy side hill lie here with the ball below my feet, so I'm playing for it to move a little bit to the right on me. It's tracking towards the hole. It might miss a little bit to the right, but it's going to stay up. Up this hill, now, you know, as quick as that, you saw how my ball rolled, your ball rolled the same way. Yeah. You're, it's slow going away from it now. Into the grain, uphill. Yeah, this, this is the one time it's a little slower. Yeah. And it's going to sling. I think we're going to take this in here. Okay. That's where we aim it. Okay. It may push it out a little further right to start, but it, when it starts losing, it's going to come off that hill and come left. Okay. Now that we know that's a little bit slow, just have to dial in the read. Oh. We're steadying the ship a little bit out here. Hole 14 is 396 yards, a little bit dog-like to the left, but not too long of a hole. You can try to cut off a little space by going left, but I pulled this thing too far left. Oh. Going to be in some thick stuff, going to be a tough tip. shot onto this green. It's tough to tell. It might be in that little swell. Tough to trust that with my feet like this. But I'll trust it. Yeah. Trace has some local knowledge that I just did not see out there. So I trusted his line breaking right to left. And what do you know? He was right. Thanks. I might try to aim just straight and uh, trust the old yeah, straight ball. Very long par four, 518 yards, trying to trust the fade. Starts left on me, and it's trying to come back, but it just misses in a bunker. This is a really tough shot. I believe I have five iron here out of a fairway bunker. It's a little squirmy out to the right. It's gonna miss the green, but leave me in a decent shot to try to get up and down. I have a decent amount of green to work with here. The slope is just going away from me, so it's gonna be tough to stop it close. Not a lot of spin, so I have this up the hill for my par. 
Just going to miss it on the low side and tap in for my bogue. You see that guy's walking out there? Yeah. Right there. So that last, those last two bushes, we're okay. not going to get to those, to those bunkers if we go to those last two bushes. Okay. There's a little more room on the right side of the fairway than you think. All right. Another hole with the lake on the left side, so it's tough to trust the fade. Trying to start it out over the left rough, and it's just not going to come back. Bunkers, it's getting right over like this okay. bunker right here. Like 150? I think 150. All I'm right. going to go up there and verify that. I also want to watch where it goes. But... A little pitch and wedge is fine. All I see from down here is a giant hill. I'm just trying to lay it up and not compound errors. I have a pitching wedge here, trying to get it up into the fairway, but I missed left. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All I can do is shake that one off. That was a tough fly. A little wedge into this green, just trying to give myself some sort of a look for par. That and that little piece of grass that's just going like right through there. Yeah. A pretty makeable putt for my par, fairly flat breaking right to left, and I start this thing just a little bit too far out right. Alright. Well, 211 with the slope. It's a 7 if I crank it downwind, it's like 200, 205, and then a 6, I can do an easy 6, probably is like 210, 215. Okay. I mean, what's, what's the front edge? But I like the 7 more. Okay, we'll do that. We stick with the seven because there's a lot of wind behind us helping. A really big hill that guards the green. I hit this one really well. I think it's gonna get up, but it's gonna be just short in a pretty fun spot. Oh no. Please excuse my heavy breathing back there, but a really big slinger right Way to left. Try to save par, just put a little too much pace on it. I'll tap him for the bogue and we head to 18, one of the coolest holes out here. A very difficult finishing hole, 515 yard par four. Have to hit two good shots to get there. Trying to aim this thing down the right side. Comes off low off the face, but I'm gonna get away with it. It's gonna end up in the fairway. 21. Oh boy. 219 slope, plus, plus wind. It's all of a four iron. I just think two irons too much. What's four iron on paper? 230 if I get it. But yeah. two irons like 250, 260. I got a gap there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I got 250 the back edge. Okay. Yeah. I. This is gonna take a lot of a four iron to it's get take there. All of them. Yeah. yeah. Long's better than short. Uh huh. Even like. If you're gonna miss. You gotta miss short right. You know if you're into. Right. If you go the What's an easier way? chip? Long. I mean, short left's not good. Short left is jail. Okay. If you're gonna miss, you either miss short right or you just go deep in the green. I think I gotta hit a, an easy two iron. Nice. Two iron. Like I said, back into the wind, we're not gonna get 250 out of it. Right, okay. Get there. Get there. Oh, it's still short. Trace has been awesome, really helping us out. And this is a crazy hole. He said he's only seen two birdies in three years on this green into this hole. So it's just been a great experience out early in the morning. Like up in this area. Yeah. Okay. You know, ideally kind of land it right here and just let it kind of trickle down. All right, we'll try. Well done. It's coming a little right to left. A little right to left. Not much. I don't think there's too much there though. It is outside the hole though. Okay. Yes. There we go. Very good finish. Oh man, that's whistling straight. So it was, uh, hey, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for all your help. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a lot yes. of fun. Really good time.